Here in California, groundwater provides nearly 60% of the state's water supply during dry years. And despite the importance of groundwater to the state's water system, it hadn't been regulated. This lack of regulation led to a lot of fragmentation, so a lot of different agencies managing the resource. This led to inconsistency in the management types as well as inconsistency in the types of data being collected. A good analogy would be withdrawing from a bank account. Without knowing how much is going in or how much is coming out, it's really difficult to adequately plan for the future. You could even go a step further and say that some of the problem has been associated with not having actual authority to limit restrictions in spending, or in this case, groundwater pumping. So the lack of regulation led to really substantial both social and environmental impacts from land subsidence, in many cases caused impacts to overlying infrastructure, drying of domestic wells, loss of groundwater dependent ecosystems. In California's Central Valley, many communities have seen their water sources disappear. The Sustainable Groundwater Management Act sets a common standard for data collection and reporting. In the past, groundwater management agencies collected data but they weren't necessarily making decisions or they didn't have the political will to be actually be able to make management decisions. So now they have the authority to be able to make management decisions to meet their basin sustainability goals. Our report highlights the need to collect data to inform and monitor those groundwater management actions that they'll be undertaking in order to meet their sustainability goals and the need for those data to be shareable. As part of that, local agencies need to tailor their data collection for groundwater management decisions and collect data in a standardized format that can be shared across an entire groundwater basin, but ideally statewide.